Hi guys, it's Joking here, and since I this well technically this is my Japan crate I'm, 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 uh, uh, unboxing. This is 2023 May of this year, and um, well, it's not gonna be last year. But you know what I mean. So this is May of this year, and it's my Japan crate because when I got my last Japan crate, the mini one, it got it had five objects in it for like what was it like nine quid, which is really good, or eight quid or something, and it's really good, like free delivery and everything. I decided that I wanted a DIY kit, and I wanted more, and and I didn't realise until like earlier that when you ordered your pan crate, if you ordered a mini one, you get all these, and if you order an original, you get all these and all these and same premium and all those, and you get an extra bonus on. And shame I didn't upgrade to uh, premium this month because you get a one piece stationery. You get some one piece stationery, which I think is quite cool. There is a spider. Not anymore. It's dead. But this is um this is the Japan crate for this month, and it's a lot bigger than like this is like five pounds width. Um, but my other one was like three and it was a really weird measurement, but that's how I like kind of did it. So the other one was like two and a half or three. But this one has I have gone for it and had a look. But this is got loads of stuff in it. It's almost like falling out. Just pick the uh, the tissue paper up so it's like kind of everywhere at the moment. But I have my little manual, what's what I have in here. And I'm a bit sure to be honest, because I don't feel particularly great if I'm a bit sick. So um you know, we're just gonna go with the, the first thing in here, which is called cream colon strawberry strawberry flavored cream colon and it's not actually made out of human parts as it says in the manual it's made it's because on the map here because like cow cow or something but this is what it looks like cream colon yum yum i, I think you open it that way it has the number six on it which i think means it has six things but i'm just going from what the start object is on here um i cannot open it to say oh so there's a little open tab trying to open it from the side Six mini packets! This is so cute, they're adorable! Cream colon! I can't tell you what, I first thought it was like colon or something. It's literally like, it comes from a Japanese word that means, uh, I don't know the name for you, there are in fact no people parts in this yummy snack. Colon is derived from the Japanese onomatopoeia koro koro, which is used to describe something round that rolls around. So it doesn't contain colon. But because I failed my science, I don't know where the colon is. I'm assuming it's like somewhere in anybody science they're quite big they're little wafer snacks so what they say is uh cute little strawberry film creamed wafers creamed cream filled wafers are perfect for sharing uh, this, this one's all about festivals because it's quite they've got a big festival going on this month um kawaii they're just strawberry filled wafers basically and they smell like really strong strawberry milkshake and they're little like they've got a little pattern on them and the consistency of the cream inside is quite powdery I don't mind it. Very strong strawberry milkshake flavour. But you get about six colons in here. But they're quite nice. Um, I think I'll probably take them to college with me or something and eat them because they're, they're really nice. I'll probably crush them up in pocket though, but you know. Next one is Fugashi. Which, first, I thought it was a chocolate bar. Very extremely light. I picked it up and I was like, that's light for a chocolate bar. Um, and obviously, it's not sticking to anything, so I thought that can't be a chocolate bar. Uh, it comes as no surprise that Fugashi is. One of the most popular design, popular Dagashi in Japan. I don't know what Dagashi is, so I don't know. But apparently, according to the manual, they're like one penny sweets or penny sweets or something. But I'm a bit. I like this little packaging though. It's kind of cute, like the colours. I've never seen like that kind of. It's also cardboard. Am I actually gonna eat this? Like, I don't want to make a mess. So I'm gonna like eat it over the box. Like, wait, like, it smells like burnt cardboard. I like the consistency. It is like like burnt like cooked sugar. Um, they have snacks like snacks like this here. I can't think of what they're called, but it's nice. Just the flavour's a bit kind of gross, so it's not really that nice. But you know, and then this is a mixture of sweets and savoury. The next thing is a the way I pronounce it because my great British accent is ooh my cheese rings, ooh my cheese rings. It's actually U M A I cheese ring cheese. But I'm just a bit. This is what they look like. They've got like this, like very polo y kind of. I mean, out here, obviously, they're not in the package like that. But I have to smell everything because it doesn't look like. It smells absolutely disgusting. This is what they look like. Like little rings. The cheese is apparently the shape 
uh, texture and shape of Funion or Funion, but Funion sounds funny to me, so. Huh. And for the flavour of Cheeto. And the smell of dying, like cheese has been sitting there for two years. They taste like Cheeto. They just bring Cheeto. They literally taste like just chocolate Cheetos. I like them. I'll probably eat them. Like all of them. And then we're back to another sweet thing, which is. Oh, they have a little millet in the ingredients and everything. But which is a. Me, me, my, me gum? My gum? Uh, I'm not going to try and pronounce that word. It's a cola flavour. Gabarichu? Gab Gab I don't know. But apparently it's like. Taffy like soft candy. It smells purely just like, like Coca Cola lollipops. Oh, it's broken. What a shame. It doesn't seem very soft then. That was unexpected. It is really soft. Very true. Sorry for the eating noises during this. It's gonna, it's bound to happen. I'm eating. Leave it down in the comments if any of you have ordered your pancake before. I do recommend them. Not sponsored, by the way. I do recommend them though, because it's quite nice to like see what they eat there. Like, no, it's, 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 it's. I wonder like whether the Japanese people generally go out and buy these things to eat them. Like they're not just like a one-off thing, but. Well, I like that I've mainly hold because I was just chilled for ages. That's, I like that one. So, I'm heading to the last Japan crate, which I didn't really like, to be honest, because a lot of it was fish. I actually like three out of four things so far. And then I've got these. These are really cute. Don Don Yaki Kim Kimchi. And they're adorable. Like, they've got a matte packaging and everything. They've got the little drums. Because this is about Don Don, I think it's something to do with drums because they had a little thing of it. Don Don Yaki is a variation of the popular Japanese comfort food. Um, the name of the dish is also a reference to the takio drumming commonly found at festivals as the Japanese onomatopoeia don don is a drumming sound. But this is what they look like in real life if you were to actually make the thing. And I think they look a bit gross. Like the part of the body. Like the body part. So I'm a bit wary. I thought they smelled and I was like, I haven't even opened them yet. But they're like quite full, this packet. This packet's generally cute. If I can open it. Um, it says something like it's like something on a stick, but obviously I don't understand what it is because I don't eat. But they're just like they look like just like little. They don't smell particularly bad. Very garlicky, but they're nice. I like them. They're like the sauce, the garlic sauce you get in noodles. Like that's that precise shape. I like them. So that's actually going really well so far. I like this box this month. The next thing, which is now going into the original, because I just finished the mini line, so now going into the original line. Shimi chocolate corn. I really enjoy the packaging of this one, and like if it's that nice, I might like put milk with it and start eating with cereal. But obviously, there's not too many in there. I think they're pretty big though. Oh, they smell just like Nestle like chocolate cereal, and they've got different shapes. Like this is a uh, bumhole star. That's disgusting, I hate myself. It's almost like the made up chocolate. Incredibly sickly. But they're very nice. The, these chocolate cu uh, dipped corn puffs I have a lot in this one that seems to be chocolate based. Not chocolate based, corn puff. Right, for now I'm going to skip the DIY and I'll do it at the end. Um, but the next thing I want from that is a Hello Kitty Choco Marshmallow. Marshmallow. Uh, Marshmallow. What's the word? Marshmallow. That was fine. Marshmallow. I don't know. But it's really adorable. I don't kind of, like, I really don't want to open it, but it's got chocolate in the middle. Hello Kitty. Who was I watching the other day? Um, Crank That Frank. Crank That Frank. And he did, he, like, cause I always thought Hello Kitty was a cat, but apparently according to his girlfriend, like, searching it up, she said it's meant to be just like a young girl or something, but it's really soft. Like I want to sleep in this. Like it's got a little, it's got a little hairdo. I oh, can't see it. Oh. I enjoyed that sound. It tastes like a kind of a disgusting version of Nutella. 
No, I don't really like that to be honest. It's a bit gross. Get in the packet, please. How did I manage to take it out so easily? That's fine. Now my hands are sticking. Six piece crispy corn is next. It's really sickening. Grilled corn is a must-have snack wherever you're at a festival, where, where, whenever you're at a festival in Japan. The crispy and sweet taste of corn on the cob is perfectly replicated in this light and crisp corn puff snack. So there's a lot of corn-based things here. It even looks like corn. This is what it supposedly looks like inside. To me, in my opinion, that doesn't look like corn. I guess like if you ripped a bit of sweet corn off and it'd have like this little indent bit, but not like if there's sticks. It has got six pieces, like only six pieces in here, like the potato snack, that potato snack was disgusting. I didn't even eat any of the rest of that, I just had to bin it because it was so disgusting. I ate the... It smells like sweet corn. There's more than six pieces in here. This is what it looks like, there's quite a few of them. It tastes like sweet corn. We could not have a consistency of sweet corn. I enjoy that. It's nice. See, I like most of these things. I like one, two, three, four, five, six, six out of eight, six out of ten. So far, I've got two more things to do. This, this one before the last one, I'm a bit worried about. What is this? Wasabi nori taro. Uh, dried fish is popular. Dried fish popular throughout the year in Japan is yet another popular festival snack. I'm not a big fan of fish to be honest, unless it's like shrimp or prawns and stuff like that. Um, and I don't like wasabi, and I also don't like seaweed, unless it's the sushi. But this is what it looks like. I like the packaging, it's quite cool, like this little wasabi man. Oh, well, it's definitely not a fish, so it's not made out of seaweed because it's too dark, but it looks, it looks, that's what it looks like inside. And it's bendable. Um, uh, this is wasabi and seaweed flavour one is sweet and salty with a very mild fish taste. If you've ever been in near a market stall, like a a sea a seaside that has fish, that's what this smells like. Like it, it's disgusting. I'm not even sure if I can bring this to put this in my mouth. Like, that's what it looks like, like a fake bacon rasher, and it smells. Why oh, do I keep smelling it? It smells disgusting. I'm not even sure if I can take a bite out of it. Like. Oh, it's so spicy. Like, it tastes nice at first, and then the wasabi kicks in, and it's like, I spit that in my box. Like, it's literally on the DIY kit. That's disgusting. Get away from me. Um, hey, fight. The sweet one, ones now. I'm gonna just put that in my mouth. It's really with, mixed with wasabi. Tastes like what battery acid would taste like mixed with sweet corn. So it's probably not the best combination. And this orange hair, I'll show you the back, is very faded. This is directions. This is why I don't use directions because underneath this, it's all just blonde. All blonde. It still tastes like battery acid. Yum. So this is the last thing because I want to do the DIY 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 kit last. Petite pastel DIY colourful chocolate snack kit. Durable DIY kit can be set up to be an ice cream stand like those found at festivals. Then pear candy that looks just like colourful ice cream scoops with the chocolate with chocolate pieces and a variety of cute shapes. So this is one I don't want to break. Like it opens up here. You get your little tray for your little ice creams. Your little ice cream and chocolate pieces, I assume. And then you've got to try and build a DIY little ice cream shop. I'm not sure if I should rip this bit. But it looks like you should rip it, so I'm going to... It looks like you have to cut bits out. Like, there's Japanese instructions, which are really not helpful. Are you meant to rip it along here? Rip the wrong bit, I'm going to do that later when I concentrate. Basically, little ice cream things. Um, they look adorable. It's a little pumpkin! With a little ice cream scoop in it, I guess you could. I don't know how you do it, do you? Like, that's the only way they go in. But, I'm assuming this is orange flavour, it smells a lot like chocolate. Obviously, it's got chocolate on it, but. Yeah, it's really weird because the ice cream bit is hard and crunchy and the chocolate bit's like soft. Can't 
can't taste the ice cream at all. It's meant to be orange, like orange flavour, I thought. Maybe not, but it tastes like chocolate, like cheapy kind of chocolate. Like it's in England, like, like Audi chocolate. I don't know where else you have Audi, but that's that's where we have we have Audi and Lidl. But sorry this video has been so long. And if you enjoyed me eating these Japan crate things, then hit the like button and I will be sure to do it again. If this video can say reach 50 likes, then I will do it again next month when I receive my next Japan crate if I upgrade to premium, which I probably might because I get that stationery or the bonus item. I generally haven't liked most things, most things, well, I've liked, the, the ratio for the things I have liked is higher than the things I haven't liked, which is good, because there's obviously ten items rather than five, and I think I only liked one item out of two, three, but the other two were like fishy things, and I don't, I'm not a big fan of fish things, so in both videos I haven't enjoyed the fish things, but this video is getting way too long, so I've been joking, and if you're new here, then subscribe, and if you're not new, I'm Becky, hi, nice to meet you, bye!